Social skilling. You've heard about it on the news, probably. It's been an essential part of RuneScape's rich culture since the release of the game. Social skilling is where lifelong friendships are formed, where the greatest minds of the 21st century come together to explore ideas in the fields of science, philosophy, and literature. What many people don't realize is there is a right way to skill socially, and that's what I'm here to teach you. This is the definitive guide on social skilling. Let's start with barb fishing, one of my personal favorites. This activity is perfect for socializing, as it's a popular training method that's also pretty AFK. You'll have plenty of time in between clicks to type messages without losing XP. You can use some of this time to compulsively high scores check every player in sight to get a sense of their value as a person. Once you've figured out who you're dealing with, you'll want to run over to an empty fishing spot and 3-tick fish for about 10 seconds, at which point you are free to stop fishing and start flaming all the AFKers. Make sure that they know what you just did, tell them how easy it was, and call them lazy for not doing it. From here, you can hop back in the pile and start fishing again, because of course you don't want to lose too much XP. If anyone claps back at you, you should already have their stats and KCs memorized since you looked them up earlier, so attack their weak points and ignore their strong points. This is where you're going to bring up all the usual topics, namely their Infernal Cape status, the fact that they probably bought their account, you already know the drill. If they don't have any KCs, call them Redditors, and tell them that they never would have survived in a 2000 2009 Call of Duty Xbox Lobby. You know, they just wouldn't make it because they probably would have been so offended that they would have cried themselves into a coma or something like that. Make sure to periodically run out of the pile while typing and wearing the most obnoxious fashion scape that you have. This is basically the equivalent of Mike Tyson walking down his opponent in a heavyweight title fight, only it's way harder because he never had to type anything. Besides, Mike Tyson would have never lasted in a COD lobby in 2009. Footwork is key here, you don't want to be a stationary fighter, or in this case, a stationary skiller, unless you want to get eaten alive. Next, let's talk about Winter Todd. This is some of the best social skilling content that OSRS has to offer. A lot of Iron Men come here to rush 99 fire making pretty much right out of the gate, and for some of them, this is like their 7th or 8th hardcore. They're already starting to lose their mind. This makes Winter Todd the perfect place for some truly innovative discussions. If you have a 1KC Infernal Cape, there's literally no better place in the game to show it off. As far as conversation goes, you're going to want to keep things political and not stray too far from that. This is a serious place for serious people. Lighthearted jokes and banter will not get you anywhere here. Your actual political views don't matter at all because the most tick efficient political views to have are just going to be the opposite of whoever else is talking. The only tangible way you can measure your social skilling ability is by how many debates you can win in chat while not losing XP. So disagreeing with literally every opinion that people have is the only way to go. You need to be willing to switch your views on the fly. One minute you could be listing off right-wing talking points, the next minute you're blog posting in chat about the virtues of socialism. At the end of the day, who really cares about any of that stuff? You are in this to be the best social skiller in RuneScape, not to have some sort of ideologically consistent position. And as a side note, if you see someone die in Winter Todd, call them a bot and laugh at them with the rest of the chat. This is the only time you should ever stop talking about about politics, so you may as well enjoy it. Finally, we have the various bank standing skills, such as fletching, crafting, and herb lore. The best methods are going to be gems for crafting, bows for fletching, and any potion that you want for herb. But don't use amulets of chemistry because it's going to cause you to have to click more and type less. These methods will give you maximum AFK time to engage in some friendly banter. The grand exchange is going to be your best bet for these skills, preferably on a fairly populated world other than 302 because there's way too much spam there. Now, a key principle here is that a great social skiller doesn't always start conversations, but he does always derail them. Stand at the bank, fletching or crafting or whatever, until you notice people talking a few tiles away from you, at which point you can make your move. Grab a full inventory of your skilling supplies, then run over and insert yourself into the conversation. Bring some general negativity to the table. Remember, these are probably seasoned gamers, so you're not going to earn their respect by being nice. 
Continue to type condescending messages until you finish your inventory, at which point ignore everything they say and just run back to the bank and get more supplies. At this point, you're going to want to keep skilling by the banker while keeping an eye on the conversation behind you. The second you see an opening, run back, tick perfectly, and type more condescending messages. This is basically like Wooks walking for social skillers. You need to get really efficient at walking two tiles away from the bank, yelling at people, and then walking away. If you do this method correctly, you're not going to take much verbal damage because you'll be back at the bank before they can focus in and start flaming you. It's worth it to practice the Wooks walk at Vorkath before attempting this strategy as it's a good baseline to get the mechanics down. With these techniques, you should have no trouble becoming a master of social skilling, so get after it and I will see you out there.